Uh, halftime of the Colorado TCU game at home. Let me double check this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Colorado 17. TCU 14. Colorado with the lead at the half. Colorado has looked good offensively. Well, in certain areas. Uh, we'll, we'll get into it. Shador Sanders has played really, really well. Uh, completing a ridiculously high. He, well, he's 22 of 28, 182 yards and a touchdown. Now, they can't run the ball to save their life, Colorado. They've got 38, 35, 38 yards rushing, something like that in the first half. But uh, they play fast on offense. Uh, you know, Travis Hunter is obviously elite. Uh, and he's played damn near every snap of the game on both sides of the ball. It's really remarkable to watch that in today's college football, somebody's able to do that. Um, now, it's 105 degrees at TCU. We'll see what happens in the second half. I'm not surprised the game is close at halftime. I am surprised that Colorado is winning. I thought TCU would be winning close at halftime and then pull away in the second half. We'll see what happens. And, and to be honest with you, Colorado has looked like the better team here. TCU was kind of lucky to even be in this game. A, a costly turnover for Colorado that gave TCU the ball deep in Colorado territory allowed uh, TCU to score and tie it up late in the second quarter. Colorado gets the ball back, goes down and kicks a field goal on the last play of the first half. Colorado 17, TCU 14. Man, can Colorado pull it off? I'll tell you this, if Colorado wins this game by one point or a hundred, there's going to be a long line of people eating crow. And I'm going to have to be in the front of that damn line. I, I did not think Colorado had a chance in this game. And they obviously have a chance. They're up three points at halftime. Like I said, we'll see what happens in the second half, but it looks like it's going to be a great game. I'm not impressed at all with Chandler Morris either, the quarterback for TCU. How in the hell did he beat out Max Duggan for starting quarterback last year? Um, if you remember, Max Duggan was TCU's quarterback last year. That's only because Chandler Morris got hurt in the first game of the year against Colorado. And so they had to put Max Duggan in, and so, sort of the rest is history. But the, the Chandler Morris just looks uncomfortable in the pocket. I don't know. It's hard to explain. You gotta, I guess you got to watch it. But um, TCU is putting up more of a fight and playing better, I think, than most people thought they would. Now, like we said about some of the other Week 1 games, because it's Week 1, it's hard to make any hard and fast conclusions. Is TCU horrible? I mean, I don't know. They're ranked 17. I don't think they're horrible. Maybe they're not as good as we thought. But Colorado's definitely better than I thought, for sure. Now, again, we'll see what happens in the second half. Um, but so far in the first half, I thought Colorado has represented themselves uh, well. Uh, they played pretty good on both sides of the ball. 17-14, uh, to 14, they lead uh, by three um, at the half. Tennessee and Virginia, it's a good thing Tennessee can run the ball because Joe Milton is absolute garbage, at least in this game. You think Colorado is bad? Watch Virginia. They're horrible. Virginia is probably the worst team in the Power Five. They're absolutely horrendous. And Joe Milton is not doing well at all. He's completing, uh, well, where is it? Let's pull it back up. I had it pulled up a second ago. Um, it, it, not good. Where did it go? Uh, no. No. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Now, Tennessee's running it down their throat. Tennessee's got 168 yards rushing in the first half against Virginia. They're up 21-3. to they just haven't looked all that smooth offensively. Now, maybe that's to be expected. You lose Hendon Hooker and those two wide receivers. But if you listen to Tennessee fans this offseason, they were going to pick up right where they left off. That's clearly not the case. Joe Milton is 13 of 21 for 130 yards and a touchdown. And there has been multiple overthrows and multiple underthrows of completely wide open wide receivers. So... Kind of what a lot of people expected to see, I think, from Joe Milton. Again, it is the first game. You don't want to, you know, no one is unbeatable. No one is, you know, so bad they can't win a game after just watching one half of football from some of these teams. But just sort of general impressions here. I don't think Joe Milton is as good as people were telling us he was. And Tennessee's run game is legit. Tennessee's played good defensively, too, which is a little bit surprising. Defense was terrible last year. I know it's Virginia, but you hold somebody to three points. I really don't care who you're playing. That's pretty good. 
Um, some of the other matchups that are on Michigan all over East Carolina, 23 to nothing. Oklahoma, 45 to nothing over Arkansas State. Again, these are all first half scores, too. Iowa's up 17 to 3 over Utah State. Iowa scored 14 points quick, fast, and in a hurry in that game. Shocked the shit out of me because most games Iowa plays, they don't score 14 at all. But they're up 17 to 3 over Utah State. Kentucky was actually losing early on to Ball State, 7 to 3. Uh, they're starting to get it going now. They're up 23 to 7. But those are the games we're watching at halftime. Uh, Colorado, Tennessee, no, Tennessee, and then uh, got four games on on the on the other one over there. But uh, college football underway. The first full Saturday of college football season, 2023, week one. Bunch of great games today, uh, all throughout the day into prime time uh, into prime time tonight. But yeah, so what do y'all think? Can Colorado hang on to win this game? I'm going to say no. I think they're going to give out a little in the second half. And, and look, remember how good TCU was last year in these one-score games? Um, I, some people forget, but uh, something like seven or eight of TCU's wins last year were by one score or less. So TCU very comfortable, very familiar in these close games. They were losing at halftime three or four or five times last year came back and won. I know it's a different team this year, and boy, they miss Max Duggan. I'm telling you, you can watch this TCU team for five minutes and tell Chandler Morris is nowhere near what a Max Duggan is. Uh, but it's going to be interesting. Shout out to Colorado. Uh, better than I thought they would be. Uh, actually, you know, I, I think uh, I think a pretty good performance from Colorado in the first half. We'll see what happens in the second half. Uh, anyway, enjoy today's games. Have a good morning.